Today we are going to decide what volcanoes, craters, and coffee mugs have in common. So we're going to stretch our imaginations a little bit and apply the foreshortened circle to three completely different objects. So the first lesson we're going to do is the volcano. So in order to do the volcano, we're going to draw two guidelines. And remember, we're still going to use these guidelines even though we are in lesson 20. Um, these guide dots are just going to help us um, whenever we draw, okay, no matter how good we get. Uh, okay, so for short and circle, I'm going to use some sketching lines to do that. And then we're going to um, slant the sides of the volcano, creating a jaggedy, bumpy edge. Mm, that's a little too jaggedy. Uh, more like this, um, just like a little bit. Um, and then we're going to position our light source. And we are going to, now here, look, it's uh, rounded. So we are going to um, put a shadow inside. And because it's rounded, it's darker here in the little crevice. And then as it gets pushed out. And then I'm also going to go down that little way a little bit. Okay, and we also have shading all along this side because this is where the light is away from. Okay, so this is the volcano. Okay, next one is the cup of coffee. We are making a coffee mug now. So now we're gonna draw two guide dots again. And we're gonna draw another curved foreshortened circle. sketching lines and then now um, we are going to remember we're going to use a strategy that we used earlier and we're going to be erasing something um, also this is a little pointed so I'm just gonna move that a little bit um, do you guys remember when we did the lily um, and we um, how it was the slight how we created the lip of that now we're gonna create a slightly open foreshortened lip at the center of the circle so I'm going to erase and I'm going to leave those lines. Okay. And then I'm just going to kind of like redefine the lines I want to pick. I want to keep and erasing them as I like, because I kind of want it to be flat. All right. Now we're going to slightly taper the sides of the coffee mug inward. So I'm going to start here and I'm going to go light, slightly inward, um, not too much, um, but see how it kind of comes inward and then it kind of comes out. And then we're going to add, we're going to curve it. Okay. And then we're going to draw a partially foreshortened circle inside um, to create the thickness. So it's partial, oops, it's partial. So you could go like this. I'm actually gonna do differently, hold on. Okay, so a partially foreshortened circle will look like this. So we're just going around to create a rim, um, and then that creates a little bit of a thickness. Then we're going to use the drawing direction cube. So you're going to go ahead and draw that really quickly. Okay, so go ahead and draw that. And then 
um, we're going to use that as our reference. And this cube is going to help us draw the handle of the coffee mug. So we're going to draw southeast lines. So we're going to look at the southeast. So we're going to be drawing lines going this way. Okay, so um, we're going to start right about here. And I'm going to be drawing them slightly down this way and apart from each other. So southeast is going this way. Okay, then following the lines that we've drawn above, we're going to do the same thing and draw two more south um, east lines. And you want them to be about the same thickness because um, that's going to be the um, handles. And this is just the direction of them. Okay, then we're going to create a mug handle with um, vertical lines. So um, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take my, I'm going to kind of draw my handle right here. I'm going to just kind of clean it up a little bit. I'm going to sketch it out, drawing it up and sketching it like that. And then I am going to um, put two curved lines right here and here. And then I'm going to um, actually take my darker pencil line and I want to kind of curve these a little bit. It comes up just a little bit and this one comes in. These are curved right here. And then it's going to kind of come behind. I'm going to draw this, this. I will be erasing these lines. So those are my guidelines and I don't need them in the, can come a little bit up. Okay. And then now we're going to draw a cast shadow in the southwest direction. I'm going to shade now, so um, please watch this part and watch how I shade in all the different crevices and nooks and crannies and where the light would hit the mug and um, where your shadows um, and shading would be. After that, I will give you a chance to pause. Now we're gonna draw a foreshortened plate and that's gonna go right underneath and around the coffee. And then you're gonna add some blended shading. You are going to now complete this refreshing cup of coffee or hot chocolate by adding an evaporating foreshadowed wisp or steam. Once you have the line that you want, you can trace it with a darker pencil line or pen. Now it's time for the bonus challenge. So 
What I want you to do is when you have some time, I want you to see how you can add either the mugs and do a whole bunch of different ones, or if you wanted to do some craters. So choose if you want to do some craters and play around with that, or choose maybe a couple mugs. Here's a lot of mugs. Um, there's even one tipped over. Um, even if you just did a couple, uh, just challenge yourself and um, start with a curving horizon line and sketch those craters and make sure the bigger ones are lower on the page. The higher um, are farther away. Um, and those would be, the higher they are, the far, more farther they away, the farther away that they are. Be sure to overlap the near craters and the far craters and notice how there's little nooks and crannies. And you can also do that with the coffee mugs. So choose one that you wanna play around with. Um, again, it doesn't have to be exact. Just um, have fun and enjoy.